Hi everyone, welcome back to Spring Web Flux Essentials and let's continue the integration tests. Now what we are going to do is to go to the anime service test and we are going to copy these two methods, find by ID and find by ID return mono error. So the idea is that our integration tests will cover almost all scenarios that the anime service is covering because this is what the the people accessing our API will see. So let's just copy here and replace this type verifier. And now we are going to test the endpoint that we have ID, exchange, expect status, OK. Let's double check if it's really OK. Uh, we didn't add the response status, so let's just add here. And expect body list now will be expect body anime and instead of contains it will be is equal to the anime that we have available right here okay so this is the find by id and before we move on we have to set up the mock remember we are mocking we are mocking the database so i will go to anime service test again and this is what we are looking for and we will go back to anime controller IT, the setup, and we are going to add it here. Now for the find by ID returning mono error, it's the same thing. So we are going to find by ID and then we are going to return mono empty. And the service should handle that returning uh, response not found, response status exception with not found exception. Okay, so let's copy this test client. Same thing, same thing, same thing, same thing. Only here that's different. We could either use is uh, 400 something or is not found. And the expect body. Now we are not expecting a body of enemy. We are expecting a body like this. So we can use the JSON path again. So the status should be 404. Let's try first this one. And now the one returning mono error. Cool. So what happens if we try to get the developer message? Let's add it here. Let's copy the developer message. And the developer message that we are expecting is this one. Okay, let's see. Let's execute again. So as you can see, there is no value at the JSON path. And the reason is that the, remember that WebFlux test will only load what's necessary for the WebFlux. And these custom attributes, well, is not necessary. So we have to trigger this manually by adding the import here, custom attributes dot class. And now, that custom attributes will be loaded when we are executing this test. Or at least it should. Okay. Do we have is equal ignoring? Nope, we don't. So we just change this one. So probably this is an old version from somewhere. There we go. So this is how we can uh, test our errors using the test client. Let's stop for now. Let's continue in the next video. See you there. Bye.